Hello, my name is Benjamin Buck with Buck Outdoor Stormwater Solutions, and I just want to give you an overview of the work we did on your stormwater pond. As you can see here, the uh, pond was pretty full on the slopes with weeds, including some saplings, and uh, we had several guys out there uh, working on those slopes with weed eaters. The slopes were just really too steep for us to use any kind of machinery on and do that in a safe and effective way. But once we got the slopes all cleaned up, we had to go down into the bottom of the pond and uh, cut these willows out. Now these willows are going to be a problem for us. We're going to have to stay on top of those. But as we look at the inlet pipe here, we see some water standing around there. And that's a problem I want to talk to you about. Let me get down to the bottom of the pond and tell you a little bit more. We're down here at the pond. We've been pumping it out. Um, you can see there's still a little bit of water left in there. We're starting to see some of the vegetation that's at the bottom of the pond. Uh, when I walk out here, especially uh, when I walk over towards um, the riser there, I can see the riprap apron around that riser. I can see the bottom. Everything's looking pretty good right there. Uh, in the pond itself, on the uh, outlet side of the uh, riprap, you can see this area right here where my hand is. Um, there's a little bit of a sediment accumulation there, uh, but not bad. Not at a point where we have to be uh, cleaning that out at this point. However, the bad news. You uh, see the riprap here, uh, that creates your forebay. The forebay is designed to catch sediment and it's doing its job. And as you look out across, you can see, let me see if I can put my finger, well, here's the riser. And then this little dark spot that you can barely see is actually a 36 inch pipe. And the sediment is so high that we're, we're standing at a higher elevation looking down, we can barely see it. So if we get down low and we look and check the elevation on that, uh, the sediment is actually higher than the top of the pipe. That's a problem and the county is going to, uh, when they come out here and look at this, um, most likely 98.3% uh, and I made that number up, 98.3% chance that they're going to tell you that sediment has to be removed from the four bay. So I'm standing back up at the top of the hill now looking down. You can see the riprap there in the corner of the screen and um, get a better idea of, of what that sediment looks like when compared to the inlet pipe. Since all the vegetation was knocked down in the bottom of the pond, we had to carry the larger pieces of uh, debris up the hill and mulched it up on top of that hill so that it wouldn't be in the way. So we're now looking at the outlet of the pond. This is on the other side of the embankment where the water comes out of the pond and into the stream. And uh, this, the facing on this, there was undercut, a lot of erosion going on. So we were able to put in a bunch of riprap and pour some concrete to really secure uh, the outfall in this pond. Ms. Brenda, thank you to you and your neighbors for allowing us to uh, serve you folks here by cleaning out your detention pond. Um, we certainly don't take work for granted and uh, really appreciate the opportunity to serve you folks here and uh, hope to be able to prove ourselves as a trusted and reliable resource for you uh, in the future as well. Um, if there's ever anything that comes up, any questions that you have, please don't hesitate to reach out as we continue in our relationship. Thank you.